Hi everyone, this is Beck and I'm Jade and T this is Mean Tweets. These are some tweets that are mean. Hi. This is in response to our Uber video. Uber video, okay. It's doing well, you should check it out. Elliot says, why is Uber the official transport service of TYT anyway? Too cheap to support real cabs? I'm glad you didn't watch the video. <laughs> I don't know where this woman like, why does she think? Did you say anywhere in the video that you like use? I don't remember I think you saying people it. People see like the thumbnail and think, I know what that video is about, and I'm right. going to leave a mean tweet. Yeah, I didn't watch I, it. I know that that's what a lot of people do. I hope you watch the video like 500,000 other people have done. <laughs> okay, so 95 Sports says, great job inciting the entire driver community instead of realizing the real problem is Uber's rates. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Well, here's the thing. Oh. A lot of people are like, why did you criticize Uber? I'm not criticizing Uber. I think Uber are wonderful and I use, I think now I use Lyft. I kind of criticize them. I think okay. we, we kind of criticize right. them. Fair call. I mean, right. you didn't like tie them to the post or anything. Yeah. Well, you, I don't know. What I was saying is Uber lies when they say that Uber drivers make more money than any other driver. Now, I'm glad that Uber exists and I have mm. used them in the past. I'm glad that we have a better alternative than taxis because I think taxis have a lot of flaws and could learn a lot from Uber. But you don't lie. If you didn't, I wouldn't care as long as Uber don't lie about it. If they were really open about like, hey, the average driver makes like just less than $3 an hour. Want to drive for Uber? <laughs> That's fine. But at least you'd be honest about it. And for some people that $3 an hour is actually worth it because they're not making any money yeah. at all. If you don't like like working for job. the man and yeah. Yeah, for a lot of people out there, you don't have a job, three bucks an hour is three bucks more than you would have. Better had. than nothing. Yeah. Better than a kick up the ass. He says, there's a good way to do math. This is not it. I don't understand. They use the numbers and all of the data was supported. We source, generally speaking, we try and source all of our data from the most reliable sources that are available. And I believe that that data came from Uber itself and from the IRS. So, so Uber gave you their data? Well, or? Uber, Uber, provide, Uber pays the LA drivers 90 cents, uh -huh. which is what we said in the video. And we looked at the LA tax department to get the sales tax. And then we looked at the IRS data on depreciation. So, so you've maybe, got a better way of doing yeah. This next one is from Aliens Anonymous and she, she says, did I miss it or did miss, no, it's a man. Did I miss it or did Miss Smarty Panties go over the tax deductions you can take for car appreciation, fuel repairs, etc. cetera? You didn't. Cause I sure as hell ain't gonna watch again unless she gets naked. It's very charming I'm gonna that get you naked? think that I would get naked. But I can tell you if I do get naked, you're probably not gonna wanna watch it. <laughs> I'm sure they Just probably would. <laughs> anyway, um, to address the tax we could deduction, get naked. deduction, I wonder if that would issues. get many views. What do you think? It would probably get more views than what we let us get know now. in the comments below if you would like to see me or Beck naked, and whoever gets the most votes will get naked. <laughs> I don't know Possibly if I can vouch camera. for the accuracy of that. <laughs> anyway, you're trying to dodge the tax deduction. So what they're question. saying is. What about tax deductions? That's a great question. We didn't even bother including income tax in the video. So if you add them out that you lose an income tax, then we can talk about tax deductions, but we didn't even bother putting in income tax. So you can't deduct it if you didn't include tax in the first place. So don't worry about it. Sedna FTW, what does that mean FTW? For the win? Mm -hmm. Um, it says, this video is such fucking bullshit. Keep your car running good and don't go drop 20k on a new car and it makes everything this stupid fucking blonde bimbo reading a script said irrelevant. Well, first of all, I wrote the script. I Not think like I'm reading someone thing. else's yeah, script. Yeah, that's true, but I think he's still... And second of all, takes... keep your car running good. You can't keep your car running good if you're driving 225,000 miles on it. Like fucking, you're gonna have to repair that shit all the time. So yes, again, you might be able to drive a car beyond 225,000 miles, but remember you have to clean that shit out all the time when people throw up. You have to repair all the like 
cars that hit you and you have to like refresh the engine and the tires and all that shit is expensive. Is it as expensive as a new car? Who knows? Okay. Evan Wright says, mm -hmm. buy a car every two or three years. Are you fucking retarded? Possibly, but let me do the math on that one. Thank so you we for should the question, explain. Evan. We should explain the context so of that. The context is that in the Uber video, I said if you're a full-time driver as your job, you have to buy a car like every three years, and that costs a lot of money. And people don't realize that. They're like, I'm going to drive for Uber, and then they depreciate the value of their car by putting a lot of miles on the car, and then they're like, oh, now my car's broken down, and I haven't put aside any money to pay for the repairs or to buy a new one. But if you think about it, like, just say if you're an Uber driver, we said in the video that you might get, you get paid for 30 miles, to, you drive for 30 miles an hour. So you get paid 30, you get paid for 30 miles every hour. Mm -hmm. But you're probably driving more than that because it's not all trips that you've been paid for. You have to go and drive to the person to get picked up. But just for sake of math, you get you drive 30 miles per hour and you drive for 10 hours a day. So like maybe just over an eight hour day, plus you've got to drive there and you've got to drive home, whatever. So you know a lot of taxi drivers do a lot longer than 10 hour days, but we'll just say 10 hours. So 30 miles per hour times 10 hours, it's 300 miles every day, times five days a week, that's 1500 miles you're driving in a week. Now times that by, say you do 50 weeks per year, 50 out of 52, you're gonna take some holiday. That's what's 50 times, it's, that's 75,000 miles every year. Now, after three years, you're up to 225,000 miles. Now, yes, it might be possible to drive a car with 225,000 miles on it, and I'm sure a lot of people out there are doing just that, but you then, at that point, you're gonna have to replace like so much of the engine that would have broken down by that point. Mm. And that's expensive because you have to replace the fan belts and like the starter motor and all that shit breaks down. Plus, you're not just driving yourself, you're driving in stop-start traffic or you're driving like large stretches on highways and you get even higher case, uh, miles, sorry. Maybe the guy who was saying this was thinking that an Uber driver wasn't like driving full-time. Full -time. No, but this is like to try, we, the point of the video is to show that full-time drivers, people that are driving right. for their primary income aren't really making, they're not making minimum wage. Mm. And like, if you're just driving an hour or two on the weekends, then the, the money that you make isn't gonna be that important to you. But for a lot of people that are believing Uber and thinking that they can drive full time, it's just not happening for you. Now, whilst you probably could drive 225, a car with 225,000 miles on it, think about the people that you would have picked up. They'll be puking in the back seat of your car and they're like, all sorts of shit's gonna happen at that point. I saw a taxi hit another car just yesterday. Okay, your so, mean tweet time is up for okay. this tweet. But basically, after 225,000 miles of full-time driving, your car is gonna be shit. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't wanna miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.